Hey everybody, what's up? This is Daniel. So I decided to, you know, look for any other frap alternatives, and I found this one thing called Open, um, Open Broadcaster. Yeah, that's what it's called. I think it's called. Yeah, Open Broadcaster software, and it's on its beta version. So what this basically is is where you can uh, broadcast your very own videos whenever you want to onto uh, any type of uh, broadcaster, you know, like Twitch TV or Justin TV. So um, but you can also record it onto your screen and you can, you know, and record it on your games as well. But the thing is, there's no editing software that can edit this. If you try Cam Studio, it's gonna make, it's gonna like, import it as a mp3 file, which is kind of stupid, I don't know why, or some audio file. And if you put it in Vegas Pro, the quality is gonna be very, very low. So you won't be able to have anything to use in order for it to, in order for it to edit this thing out. Because mostly this is for like broadcasting, so you can't really edit anything. So let's first start off with a little tutorial. So basically, um, here's the capture screen right here, and yes, it's a never-ending oblivion capture screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a scene, you know, for to be able to capture it. We're going to call this tutorial capture. Okay. So after that, what you're going to do is you're going to go to add, and you're going to go to, um, and you're going to go to if you want to monitor, you want if you want to capture your window or your screen. You want to go to monitor capture. You're going to call this. I'm going to call this tutorial uh, screen. So then after that, um, you're going to press OK or whatever, you know, and there you go. There's your you know little screen or whatever. But if you ever want to capture your game, it's going to be a little bit different. Now I found a few emulators that are capable of being um, you know screen captured and everything, and I found out that SNES 9X is the only well, to me, it feels like it's the only thing that can be captured. Visual Boy Advance cannot be captured by OBS yet because from for some apparent reason. So if you try to go to um, Game Capture, we're going to call this Tutorial Game. So press OK. And as you can see, it's going to select any application that, you, that you're locked on to. Um, you can stretch the image and you can ignore the aspect ratio if you want it in complete full screen. Or if you want it to be like in a regular way, you can just keep it in aspect ratio. I mean, you can keep it, you know, stretch image to screen. Um, you can also take off the capture mouse cursor so you won't see like your mouse or whatever. So, all right, here we go. So we're going to open up um, SNEX, not 9X or, I don't know. And then we're going to go load a game here. And then we're going to load up, uh, let's load up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, so let's pause the thing here and... We're gonna look for application, so we're gonna press refresh, and as you can see, it's gonna automatically automatically go to SNES 9X. So after you press OK, whatever, um, it's going you're gonna to have to wait for it to like to capture it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unpause it, and there it goes, it's right there. So the thing is, um, this is mostly used for like you know, you know. Uh, this is mostly used for like broadcasting, whatever, you know, like Twitch TV. So it can't really be used for screen capturing. There's only one time you can use screen captures, only if you're like, you know, so if you're cool like that, you want to, you know, screen capture it. But you won't be able to edit with no software at all. So it's going to suck. All right. So you can, you know, edit out the properties, you know, or ignore aspect ratio. That basically makes um, the game in full screen like that, a completely white screen or whatever. And um, you can edit, the, you know, the the master system. You can edit the microphone on how high it can be or how low it can be. And you can, you know, edit the master, the asset value of the 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 computer itself. So after that, um, let's go to the settings. So over here is where you can uh, select your in your uh, your language or whatever. And you can go to, you know, setting profile. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this, and uh, we're gonna remove. Yes, and I don't know if we can add or not. Oh, okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna backspace. And we're gonna call this tutorial streaming. Okay. So let's go back to settings, and if we scroll down, oh, okay. Let me go back. Forgot to uh press add. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and press add, and now it's added into your drop down menu. So. Um, encoding is basically how you know everything will be encoded. You know your your max uh, uploading speed and everything. Broadcasting settings you can either change this by file output only or live stream. Um, with live stream, 
that basically means that you're going to be like, uh, hold on, let me, let me switch back. Okay, it's on tutorial streaming. So if you go to live stream, this basically means that you're going to be, uh, that you're going to have to copy your 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 stream key, you know, for you know, go live on your Twitch TV or Justin TV or your UStream if it's on here. No, it's not. All right, whatever. So let's go back to file output, and you can go and browse and you know. Uh, and save the, the videos wherever you want to but the thing is it's going to keep the same name but it's going to add one two three four you know all that stuff like for example if I call the video tutorial streaming then it's going to say tutorial streaming one two three four and so on so you don't have to change the name yourself um, you can add the start stream hotkey high so like you can press any button you want but I'm going to keep it at F11 because I did that for uh, for fraps so no we're not going to save the settings all right so then you got the video, which is the end, um, which is your video adapter. Uh, I have Intel RHD graphics, um, and here is the base resolution. Um, it's either custom or monitor, and usually it's always monitor one or whatever. Now the resolution downscale is basically, um, is basically if people don't have like that kind of screen size or whatever, you can downgrade to like you know, to whatever kind of screen it is, and then um. Here's the filter, which I don't know why I need a filter, but whatever. And here's the, the you know the frames per second. I put it up to 60 because 60 is more better. Um, we go to audio, and you can pick whatever audio device you have for your you know computer, or whatever. But it says default, and I have default for my microphone, so we're good. Um, you can use this you know to mute and unmute your mic hotkey. And then if you go to advance, well actually there's other stuff. I don't know what says other stuff. I'm sorry. And if you go to advance, you find all this other stuff. The priority, the process priority class is basically um, is how much memory you're gonna use for this one. So if you click on high and above, it's probably gonna like mess up your gameplay or whatever. Um, I keep this on very fast because that's basically the default settings. I don't want to mess with that because I might screw up or something. Um, and then you got all this other stuff. Then you got the global time offset. Which is basically, you know, offsets or whatever. And then they got the bind interface. Um, if you scroll down, do the drop down menu, um, you're basically gonna have to see like other stuff. But I don't want to show you it because on the drop down menu, it basically shows my um, what's that thing called? My IP, and I don't want nobody to hack me, so I'm just gonna keep it, you know, there. Then you got the microphone nose gate is where you can be able to you know capture see how your thresholds on your microphone is doing and this is basically you know the attack time the whole time the release time whatever so after that you can press ok and you know everything is all cool so there are, you can add scenes if you want to and we're gonna call this image or actually no we're gonna call this tutorial capture again so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add and we're gonna add a image Oh, not image slideshow image so we're gonna add some images yes we're gonna click OK so we're gonna go browse and look for some images now the thing that it accepts is JPG PNG GIF BMP and DDS now I don't know what DDS is but I do know what BP is and um, if you go to this um, I was trying to see if I can you know, I was trying to make like a, a demonstration so I made a ban a banner and I press OK and there's your, you know, your little banner. So how do you move this away from the capture screen? So what you're going to do is you're going to go click edit scene, and as you can see, you can go and edit whatever you want. You can even edit the, the, you know, the game screen if you want to. But I'm just going to keep it, you know, the way it is with this thing. And you're going to go and put it whatever you want to. You can put it on the side if you want to, and whatever. This is my, you know, this is the thing I made by myself, so you don't have to worry about that. All right. Next up is the the global source now I don't know what global source does but mostly like for how you you know capture screens or whatever so I'm just gonna keep it like that and then um, the text is where you're gonna be able to put text or whatever so we're gonna call this uh, tutorial text Jesus I'm really messing up typing so we'll press OK so then we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna enter our text here we're gonna press uh, Daniel Jones uh, live stream test okay so we're gonna, and here's the font size, and you can edit the, you know, the font, whatever. You can make it bold, edit like underline or vertical, and then um, I rather like it like vertical. That vertical doesn't sound bad. Um, Opacity is, you know, if you can see it or not. The color of your of your text, it can be whatever color you want. 
uh, you know, in this color palette. Um, I'm going to put it in black because, you know, basically the screen's white, so we're going to put it in black. And then, um, yeah, that's basically about it. Now, you can use, you know, UTF or compatible or whatever. Use text from file or whatever that bull crap is. UTF, I do know what that is. And then the background opacity, we're going to keep that at zero because we don't want to see the background. So we're going to press OK. And apparently, all right, so I said not to use white. I want it black. My fault. All right, so we're going to press OK. Press OK. And there we go. There's our, you know, you know live stream thingy or whatever. And here's our image too. Uh, so we're going to click edit off scene. If you don't want to edit no more, you can just click edit scene again to stop. So then we're going to go to add. And this is basically like just image slideshow. This is where you're going to see images and stuff like that. Then you got the video capture device. This is where you're going to be able to, you know, use this capture device. <laughs> device tutorial. So like if you have like a video capture or whatever, uh, mine's is a... Uh, um, you can, you know, like, you know, capture your very own video screen or whatever, but I don't feel like doing that because I don't want you guys to be seeing my face, but, you know, it doesn't matter. So, camera control, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then you got the custom resolution where you can, you know, make the resolution or whatever. You can, you know, edit the FPS, and then you can have the, uh, the audio input and output, which we want to keep that disabled because we don't want, you know, two, you know, audios talking, whatever. Uh, chroma keys, I don't know what that is, but we can uh, edit the, uh, the audio if we want to or not. You know, it's up to you. And then you got de interlacing. This is basically probably like, you know, some kind of filter or whatever. Um, so that's basically about it for the whole entire thing. So we're going to press OK. Well, actually, no, we're going to press cancel because I don't want nobody to see my face. Um, then after that, um, that's basically about it. That's all I got. The last one you have is uh, is image slideshow, which I'm pretty sure you already know, guys already know what it is. It's basically just you know slideshow, whatever. Window capture basically is um, what window are you gonna capture? Um, I'm gonna cap. You can capture this if you want to. Um, you can capture your mouse if you want to. You know all that bull crap. So we're gonna press OK, and as you can see, the window is now captured. So we're gonna edit the scene here, and we're gonna see. All right, that's cool. That's nice. All right. And you can make it big or whatever and make it small and blah, 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 blah. So, that, so basically everything around here is just a whole big giant mess. We already got, you know, Konami on here and Konami there and this banner and this freaking text. So, you know, this is just all big, one big mess. So if you want to, like, reorder things, that's okay with me. That's fine with me. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, it's basically how you want to do it. So... Basically, this is on how to make like you know like a broadcast and whatever. This is also a Fraps alternative because it's completely free. Um, they they both have 32 bit and 64 bit. But in order for to do that, you're gonna have to go and go to something else. So we're gonna go to video capture here, and we're gonna go to and we're gonna go to Google.com, and we're gonna look up Open Broadcaster. Um, okay. Open up progress of software. So we're gonna click on the download link right here. And as you can see, if you click on download, it's gonna just assume that you have a 32 bit. But they both have 32 bit and 64 bit versions. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to binaries and it's gonna open up a sourceforge.net link and then you're gonna wait, you know, for a few seconds for your open broadcaster software to download. Wait for it to download. It's downloading, downloading. So you're going to have to wait for a few seconds, depending on your, you know, your downloading speed or depending on how fast your computer is. Um, let me just, I think I can. All right, so now that we're done, we're going to press on the zip file. And as you can see, there have two folders, 32-bit and 64-bit. Now, if you're a 64-bit computer, if you go to your computer and you go to program files, you see that you have two program files. There's a f program files, that one that's for 64-bit and program Program, God, program files for times 86. Times 86 means 32 bit, so you know, all that jazz, whatever. So we're gonna go to 64 bit, and basically this is just you know just regular uh, 64 bit uh, open broadcaster. But if you 32 bit, just go ahead and click on this. Um, so depending on your system, you know your operating system, if it's 32 bit or 64 bit, click on one of the folders and you'll be able to you know get this get this thing going. So that's basically about it on what to do, how to download and all that bull crap and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial or whatever. Uh, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. And remember, you cannot, 
you cannot edit nothing you can't edit this with no editing software because this is basically just this is basically just you know messes up Vegas Pro and Camtasia Studio 8 Camtasia Studio 8 it's pretty cool it's basically like um it's basically like Vegas Pro but it's more different well it's not really Vegas Pro it's not really Vegas Pro but it's more um it's close to Vegas Pro it's like it's like the second best editing software that I know um, but if you ever find any other editing softwares that can actually edit this, then that would be great. You can, you know, comment below on and tell me what it's called, and I'll see if I can edit it down. So, all right, so I've been, you know, talking for 15 minutes, so I'm going to stop there. So thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later in the next uh, video or whatever, probably the next walkthrough or something. I'm sorry I haven't done any Pokemon Dark Rising yet. I haven't, uh... Uh, apparently my save file kind of messed up and whatever, but you know, <sighs> I'm going to have to redo that. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys.